May praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the worlds, and peace and blessings be upon his prophet Muhammad, the head of all messengers upon his family and all his companions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, I want to have the honor of speaking some humble words on the importance of Salah. Dear brothers and sisters, Salah means prayer. While in Islam it is said of actions and mood of worshipping Allah, Salah is the second tenet of Islam after Iman. Every believer is asked to worship Allah five times a day. The five times of Salah are called Fajr, Zuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. Salah is the most fundamental practice of Islam. It is obligatory on every Muslim man and women. Dear brothers and sisters, Salah is the most important practice in Islam. It was greatly emphasized by the Quran and Hadith. It finds repeated mentioning in the Quran and mostly it is combined with Iman. Salah is in fact the manifestation of Iman. It means total submission of men to Allah. In Salah, a slave folds his hands before Allah in humility and bows down before him. He puts his forehead on ground before Allah and chants his greatness and glory. Among all the Islamic practices, Salah finds the maximum mentioned in the Qur'an. The Qur'an in different styles shed light on the importance of Islam. The Qur'an says, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ فَآتَوُوا الزَّكَاةَ لَهُمْ مَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Surely those who believe and do good deeds and establish salah and pay zakah will have their reward with their Lord. And there is no fear for them, nor shall they grieve. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, ayat number 277. Another place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ يُمَسِّكُونَ بِالْكِتَابِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ إِنَّا لَا نُزِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُسْلِحِينَ Those who hold fast to the book and establish salah, we shall never let the reward of righteous people to go to waste. Surah Al-A'raf, chapter number 7, ayat number 117. My brothers and sisters, the hadith also promised great rewards for being punctual in salah, and they give several warning against missing and neglecting salah. One hadith regards salah as the column of Islam. The structure of Islam is based upon Salah. So one who will call Salah, he will be automatically acting upon all orders of Sharia. So whoever leaves for Salah, Allah is not responsible of him. Musnad Ahmad. While another hadith says, Salah is the line of demarcation between Islam and Kufr. Sahih Muslim hadith number 116. Dear brothers, Salah teaches us to be systematic and punctual. It wants us to live a social and collective life. Salah infuses discipline to us and trains us to follow the commandment of Allah in total submission. Salah promotes love and brotherhood among Muslims. It teaches equality between all classes and causes. It makes no difference between poor and rich and ruler and subject as well as high and low. Salah is a practical lesson of Islam to abolish the main match concepts of differences on the basis of caste and color. 
Dear brothers and sisters, it is pretty that we are unaware of the importance of Salah. Our mosques are empty and we roam around ruthlessly. The majority of Muslim society is away from mosque. How can we progress we neglect the most important practice of Islam? How can we perfect our Iman without performing Salah? How can we attention the benefits of the world and the hereafter without performing Salah? How can Allah be pleased with us when we don't have time to worship Him? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and give us tawfiq to be punctual in Salah. Allahumma ameen ya rabbal alameen. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.